What's up, buddy? Everybody. Welcome back. Yeah. Got something nice for you to check out today. This is one of the most desirable watches in the world. Daytona stainless steel black. Got the white too. Let's go check them out. This is the 116520, also known as the Rolex Daytona. Most of you have already seen this watch all over the world. It's one of the hottest watches out there. You honestly can't go wrong. This is their most famous chronograph. This is all stainless steel. I'm just wearing the Rolex white dial version. Same watch, just different color. These are pre-ceramic. The years on these ones, actually, I got a uh, 2008 and a 2005 full set box papers. The current model that they do is uh, very, very, very similar, uh, except you'll notice they have a black ceramic bezel around them, uh, as well as some clasp changes. You see, this is the old clasp that these Daytonas used to have. And it's interesting to see now where these things have really gone in the market because uh, back in the day when these watches like first, first came out, it was actually their least popular watch in all of their inventory. Now just to see where the market's taking these. It's gone from zero to number one. So really big move for these Daytonas. So these are all 40 mil. All the Daytonas are 40 millimeter with chronograph, of course. Why is this the most sought after Rolex in the world? Well, currently uh, you walk into the retailers and ask for this watch. They will either laugh at you or tell you to f in a nice way. You just can't get this watch by walking into any retailer. I mean, you gotta be Super VIP. If you're collecting these, actually, they're a bit easier on the secondary market. There is more of this product out there. I'm strictly talking about the new, new, new model, um, which we're gonna have in one of our episodes, of course, so definitely stay tuned. In the next five, 10 years, I, I probably see this watch being like hand in hand, like very close in market value to the ceramics. My reason behind that is just because these are simply discontinued. So once they're discontinued, you're not gonna be able to go pick up something that's still in manufacturing, right? So I think these will become more and more scarce. Once they land into um, collector's hands, I think that's when it's over for these pieces because it's not like they're just gonna go flip it, make their money and you know keeps the market healthy. But um, like I said, once this ends up in like some collector's hands, you're gonna be seeing less and less of these, I can guarantee you. Would yeah. you say they will be the next Paul Newman Daytona? It's hard to say if they'll be the next Paul Newman Daytona. That's just so iconic right now. These are generally, you know, there was no really celebrity backing this and, and stuff like this. These just, they became one of their hottest models. But uh, who knows, who am I to say in the next 50 years, 60 years, hopefully, uh, you know, I'll still be around to see that day. Um, but I think it's only gonna become more rare and rare. So definitely get in the market now if you're looking for this piece. Uh, wrist presence of this watch is great. I mean, super comfortable, super light, uh, but very durable, so you can beat it up. I mean, these things are tanks. I wouldn't say go too crazy on them. They are collector pieces now, but uh, if you're an everyday watch wearer, this is, this is something very, very, very great. And I think if you walk into a room with this, business meeting, anywhere you go, you're gonna get some wrist respect for that, for sure. Overall, I'm gonna give the black dial a nine out of 10. And uh, I'll give the white dial a 10 out of 10 because to me, it looks just a little bit cleaner. What do you guys think? You like white dial or black dial? Drop your comments below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe.